Hello, it's Jay Plays Games, and welcome to an Ask Ark Survival Evolved video. Today, I am going to be answering some questions, hopefully, or generally talking about some things that have been cropping up in the comment section. So, some of you have been commenting and asking, is there going to be mods on Ark Survival Evolved? And I can probably say yes. They have just announced that the Xbox Ones can be turned into development kits. So, this means that if you know what you're doing with games and you know how to program and, and make games, you could use the Xbox One to create your own game. What this also means is that you could also possibly load up mods much easier. We've heard of other games saying that mods are going to be coming to their platforms and their games, so like Fallout 4 and Minecraft have recently said they're looking into ways of doing it as well. So I don't see any reason why Ark can't do it. On PC, Ark Survival Evolved developers are very keen on getting people to highlight their mods. In fact, the newest one, Survival of the Fittest, was started out as a mod, but they incorporated it into a fully fledged game mode on its own. So yes, there will be mods coming to Ark Survival Evolved, and I do think there will be on the Xbox. I don't think it's going to be very soon though. The game's yet still to launch in June, and then I reckon it'll be at least three to six months after that. Especially as we've not seen any mod support for Fallout 4 yet. But in enabling development kits to be used, the Xbox ones to be used as development kits, also meaning that you can try and play games if you're on your Windows 10 and stream into PC and stuff like that, I really do believe that mods will be available on Ark Survival Evolved. Second question that I think of myself actually is, are there going to be more than one island? If you look on this menu section here, you can see you've got a button that you can click on and off and if you click it off and try hosting a game it won't connect there's nothing happening so it does determine that you can actually connect to maybe a different map or a different game now of course this might mean this is just the menu system and when they input other menus when the games fully finished so if like single player and multiplayer it'll all be here but there are some interesting clues. The fact that there is the obelisks and their main job at the moment is to transfer data between servers. So you can transfer your dinosaur, you can transfer items, you can do all these things. So why not be able to transfer some stuff to a brand new map? Lots of people have been getting development kits for Ark Survival Evolved as part of making mods as we just spoke about now. And that's on PC. And part of these development kits is they get to preview some of the things that are coming in next Ark updates. For example, on PC, part of someone showing off what in the development kit was, was Bionic Armour for players. So you can well imagine that maybe there is a new area being created. At the moment, a very popular mod is a mod called The Center, and it's a brand new map. Now this was created by someone, a mod creator, not someone that works at Ark Survival Vault, but an actual, you know, amateur. But he has created a handcrafted map and it looks amazing. But I generally believe that they are going to add new maps to the game. You could think of it as DLC, maybe they'll add it on and you will have to pay money for it. Maybe it'll be a free update. Maybe they'll split at the moment, you know, Primitive Age and Modern Age. Maybe that'll be part of it, so that you'll do one part of the game on one island. And then when you want to progress to a, a new advanced technology, maybe you have to go to another island. Also, in the actual game's files, people data mine. And data mining means going through every single file in the game on PC. And they can find out loads of information about what's coming. This is how things happen in Minecraft, that people have discovered what's coming in the next update. Or things have been enabled so that they're ready when the next update comes. People have discovered that there are going to be things like ruins added to the game. Although nothing's happened yet and we've not seen any actual pictures, but these are one of the things that have been found out through data mining through the files of the game. So, can you imagine ruins on this current map? I don't think I can, but I could definitely imagine another world where it'd be loads of different types of ruins. So let me know what you think about them two things we spoke about. Mods coming to Ark Survival Evolved and there being more actual islands or maps to go to and explore and conquer. I want to try this, making this a regular thing. I've done two previous videos which were more kind of like guides telling you what certain things do, like torpor. But really I want this to be a one where we talk about stuff and leave lots of comments below. So please leave comments on what you think what's happening, what we discussed today. 
and also leave future topics what you'd like me to talk about and hopefully we can get some more feedback. So I've been Joe Plays Games, this has been an Ask Ark Survival Evolved video. I hope to see you guys very soon. Remember to check out all my tutorials and my Let's Plays and I'll see you later. Bye bye.